In just a few months, several of Guilford County Schools buses will be filled up with the new fuel. Transportation officials are giving a biodiesel blend a test run. What we're looking at is testing um, different levels of biodiesel and see how the biodiesel impacts our operations. 50 buses will get the new fuel. Harris says during the study they'll do their best to test the impacts of biodiesel. Our, our buses operate from 5.30 a.m. And, and some up to 9.30 p.m. So, you know, we, we plan on testing a site that, that gives us some good mileage and some good feedback. 13 other North Carolina counties already use the fuel, and the biggest concerns they had dealt with mechanical issues and additional costs. But Harris says the biggest issue he sees happening are some clogged filters. As you add the biodiesel in, it cleans your tanks, it cleans your fuel systems, and clogs up filters. Once the cleaning is done, um, there shouldn't be any problem, but we want to see if we can avoid as much of uh, the clogged filters as possible. But he says above all, they're doing this for their students and the environment. Biofuel is just an alternative to pure number two diesel fuel, and it just helps clean up the exhaust um, from, the, uh, from the bus and makes the air cleaner for, for everyone. Reporting in Guilford County, Stephanie Stillwell, News 14, Carolina.